Hi dear parents, welcome back to part 2 of how to find the constants of a standard form equation. In my first video I showed you how to find the constants with just regular integers, negative, zeros, and positive numbers. This time I'm going to show you how to find the constants of a standard form equation when fractions are involved. Let me show you a quick example right now. Let's see, let's try this one. How about 2 over 3x minus y is equal to 1 over 4. Okay? Now, again, as always, to find the constants, I need to find out the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c. But already there's a problem. Constants have to be an integer. They can be a minus number, they can be zero, they can be positive numbers. They cannot be fractions. And we've got two fractions over here. So, this is going to be a problem. I need to get rid of these fractions. And the only way I can get rid of these fractions is by multiplying every single fraction in here by its denominator. Let's start with this one, 2 over 3x. I want to get rid of this 2 over 3. So I'm going to multiply 2 over 3x by 3. If this is the denominator, then that's what I'll multiply it by, the same exact number. And don't forget, whenever you multiply one term by some number, you got to multiply everything else by the same number as well. So I'm going to multiply 3 times y, and I'll multiply 1 over 4 multiplied by 3 as well. You see that? Everything has to be multiplied by the same number. Now let's do this. 3 and 3. Numerator is the same, denominator is the same. But guess what? I can cancel it out. Cancel, cancel. And now I'm just left with 2x. It is now free from the fraction. Let's go to the next one. Minus, what is 3 times y? Just take the number and the letter and join them up, and it becomes 3y. Excellent. And now 1 over 4 times 3. Well, these two are different numbers, so I can't cancel them. So I'll just have to do straight multiplication. 1 times 3 is 3. And 4 times, this is 1 by the way, 4 times 1 is just 4. So as you can see, we have the A value set, we got the B value set, but C is still no good. It's a fraction. We have to get rid of that fraction. So let's do it one more time. Let me multiply 3 over 4 by its denominator, which is 4. So I'll put 4 over here. If I'm multiplying this by 4, I need to multiply this by 4, and I need to multiply the 2 also by 4. Every number has to be multiplied by that same number. So let's start. 4 times 2x is 8x minus 4 times 3y is 12y equals 4 is the denominator, 4 is the numerator. They can cancel out, and it leaves me with just 3. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are free of all fractions, and we can now find the constants. A is the first number. It is positive, so it's good. It is 8. B is the next number. B is right over here, and it looks like it is minus 12. And finally, C is the last number, and that is a positive 3. And there we go. We have found the constants for this particular equation. Okay, again, you cannot use fractions. you got to get rid of them, and you do that by multiplying the fraction by its denominator. And you do that for every single fraction until there are no more fractions left. Let's take another example. Let me delete all this. Let's try something like this. Um, how about minus 1 over 4x um, plus 3 over 2y is equal to positive 6. And I would like to find the constants of these of this standard form equation. Again, we have a problem. This is a fraction. This is a fraction. We don't want fractions. We cannot work with fractions. I've got to get rid of them. So I'll start with x. I want to get rid of that 4 minus 1 over 4. So I'm going to first start by multiplying it by 4. Okay? Don't worry the minus sign right now. Minus sign, keep it until the last second. And I'll show you what to do with it. Right now, I want to get rid of 1 over 4. So I'm going to multiply it by 4. I will also multiply this by 4, and I will also multiply this number by 4. Okay, that is the rule. 
Whatever you multiply by, everything has to be multiplied by that same number. Now 4 is the numerator, 4 is the denominator, same number, I can cancel it. And it leaves me with just minus 1x, which is the same thing as saying minus x. Okay? And now let's continue on. How about over here? 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 divided by 2 becomes 6. So I'm left with 6y. Okay, again, 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 divided by 2 gives me 6. And of course, the y stays with the family. And finally, 6 times 4 is 24. Let us check now. Have we got rid of all the fractions? Well, this is minus 1x. This is a 6. This is a 24. We've definitely got rid of all the fractions. However, we are not done yet. We have a problem. If you remember the rules, a has to be a positive number. Right now it's a negative number. It's a minus 1. I cannot have this as a negative. I must multiply this to get, get it to become a positive. And I, to multiply this, I have to multiply every single number in this equation by minus 1. It's the only number that can make this into a positive number. So minus 1 times minus 1 becomes just positive 1. In other words, just good old x. Okay? Then I'll do minus 1 multiplied by positive 6y. Minus and positive becomes minus. 1 times 6 is 6 and y stays with the family. And finally, 2 and 24 multiplied by minus 1 becomes minus 24. And now, here we go. Let us check. Our a, is that a positive number? Yes, it is. So a is just positive 1. Okay, if there's no number in front here, as you can see, there's no number, it's automatically a positive 1. And now, well, what's b? b is going to be minus 6 and the last one c the next constant is going to be minus 24 as you can see over here and there we go ladies and gentlemen this is how you find the constants of a standard form equation in fraction form we do not want fractions we want to get rid of them and the only way you can get rid of a fraction is by multiplying it by its denominator. Okay? And you have to multiply everything out by the same number. And you keep doing that until you are left with the actual standard form equation. And of course, always remember the A value, the A constant, must always be positive. If it's negative, then you must multiply it by a minus 1. And this is how you do the constants of a standard form equation. Thank you.